Hey everyone, it's Audrey. So I got a quick question for you. Have you ever seen these little QR codes that are on websites or maybe in emails that you've received, or maybe somebody sends you a photo of it and you're not able to click on it, but they keep saying scan it and you're like, how am I supposed to scan it if it's on my screen? Well, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can screenshot or save this QR code and then use your photos app to open up the link. For those of you where QR codes are still fairly new and you're not sure about them, I just want to caution you in scanning QR codes or even uh, taking a screenshot and then using your photo app to go to the link. The thing is, is that these QR codes can be created by anyone. A lot of times it doesn't even cost them. And you don't know where that link is taking you to. And there are some bad people and some evil people out there that want to do harm. And sometimes these QR codes could actually put malware on your phones or your um, tablets. And so I just want you to be mindful of who it is that is giving you the QR code. What business is it? and that you just want to be very cautious. Now, the QR code that we are going to share is gonna actually take you to our YouTube channel, so you don't have to worry about that, but I do want you to be mindful in moving forward, okay? So let's just jump right in and let's get that QR code scanned and get to our YouTube channel. Okay, first things first is you need to find a URL or some place online that actually has a QR code. And guess what? I've already got it for you. What I've done is over on our website, I've actually created a written tutorial that will walk you through the steps on how to scan a QR code from a screenshot or photo on your iPhone or iPad. And so if you are somebody who likes those written instructions, I'll leave a link to this blog post down in the description under this video, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down just a little way and you're gonna notice that I have a QR code. Now you can either take a screenshot of this or save the image to be able to open it and go to the URL that uh, this QR code will send you to. So in order to screenshot this, what you would do is press down on your power and the volume up at the same time and you're gonna hear this little camera letting you know that it took the screenshot. Now, when you do take screenshots, just know that it's taking a screenshot of everything from up top here to down here, everything you see on this screen, it's taking a photo of it. But now let's say that you want to just save the photo that is on this page, web page, or even in an email. What you would do is simply tap and hold down on that image. For this, it's the QR code. Tap on save image in, and then save in photos. Now, both of those, the screenshot and this photo has been saved in your photos app. So now let's head over to your photos app. So we'll go right here. So you're looking for this little logo right here. We're gonna tap on that. And now you'll see your screenshot along with your image. Now you can open up either one, whichever one you chose to do. So we'll just open up the image. Once there, you're going to tap and hold down until you see open in Chrome. Now yours may say open in Safari, or it might even say open in DuckDuckGo. It all depends on which browser you choose as your default. So for me, I have Chrome. So I'm gonna tap on open in Chrome, and this is where our QR code takes you. It takes you to our YouTube channel, where if you are logged in to YouTube, you can simply hit that subscribe button and subscribe to all of these wonderful free video tutorials that we put up. 
For those of you out there that are using Google's Photos app, I wanna show you how you can do that on that app as well. So we're gonna just simply uh, tap right here where it says number two. That's letting me know that I've got two tabs open on Google Chrome. And we're gonna get back to where our uh, QR code is, okay? So we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna save the image to our Google Photos. So you're gonna tap and hold down on that. We're gonna say save image in, but now you see where it says save in Google Photos. We're gonna tap on that. Now you'll notice that you can open that right away, but it goes away pretty quickly. So if that happens, what you're gonna do is just you know swipe up Find your Google Photos. Now, if you do not have Google Photos, you will need to download that app. Super simple, go to the App Store, just type in Google Photos and download this app. Um, but if you're already using it, you've got it. So we're gonna tap on Google Photos and now you're gonna tap on the image. So you're gonna open that up and then down here, you see where it says Lens? You're gonna tap on Lens and now instead of it taking you directly to the link, it actually gives you some options. So you can tap on the website and that will take you straight to our YouTube channel. You could copy the URL. So maybe if you wanted to email it or uh, share it on social media and then also share. Share will automatically like open up your Facebook or your Instagram and you can share it right there. But for this, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tap on website and you'll see that it takes us to our YouTube channel. And that's it. That is how you scan a QR code through a screenshot or an image on your iPhone and on your iPad. Hey, if this helped you in any way, why not give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button along with the bell button so you're notified every single time that we put up one of these free video tutorials. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Bye.